Hello, and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the fourth grade concept of measuring angles. This is standard 4.7c in the great state of Texas, and we are using item number 25, which is a new item type called Multiple Select, of the 2023 released STAR test. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. All right, so we got multiple select. We need to find two answers that have a measure of 116. Notice that if we just try to select one and move on, it is going to give us the warning saying you have not selected everything. And if we try to select a third one, notice it is impossible to select more than two. So they really want us just to select two here. Two point problem, let's get both of those points. So 160 degrees. Now we do need to think, how can we go ahead and eliminate some of these answers, right? What do we know about angles? Well, we know an acute angle, a right angle, and an obtuse angle. These are the, the three angles that we really work on. We don't really do much with a straight angle, which is just a flat line. So we know a right angle is 90 degrees. Okay, so then we know that a, an acute angle is less than a right angle, and obtuse is greater than. Everything is just based how it references according to that. Well, 60 or 160 is greater than 90, right? Which means that the angle I'm looking for is going to be obtuse, right? So it's probably going to look something like this. Now, A, okay, that's a possibility. So we'll come back to A. B, take a look at B though. Look, even though it's sitting on that 160, that is a tiny, tiny little angle, okay? B is not going to work for us because that is acute, right? C, that's a possibility. That looks big and fat. We're gonna have to kind of figure out how to measure that one. D looks like a possibility, but look at, look at E tiny little angle. Look how small that is. It's definitely less than 90. Okay, that's a, another one that's only about 20-ish. So, look, there are two correct answers. Just by knowing the difference between acute and obtuse angles, how about I take you from five possibilities to three possibilities? That's good. All right, so now let's take a look. All right, so when we've got one of our rays here. These are called rays because they have an endpoint. In this case, that's the center of the angle. And then it goes on forever. It's got this little arrow. When one of them is on either of these bottom lines, and this bottom line you can't really see here, but it's got a zero, right? And then it's got a 180. It depends on whether you're measuring on the inside or the outside, okay? But if you have a straight horizontal line, that's your zero line. So since your zero is on the inside, we are going on the inside. So we're going to pick up our second measurement on the inside. And you see we got the number that we're looking for is always kind of covered, so you have to kind of skip count to get there, right? 130, 140, 150. There you go. That looks like 160. So the other one needs to be that same opening, right? That same angle. Okay, so that one looks good. Let's go ahead and mark this one. A is good. Uh, we're skipping B. It'd be nice if it lined up like that, but it doesn't have to necessarily have... Uh, we're just going to look at C and D. Let's go ahead and delete all this so we're not writing all over ourselves. It's not on the line uh, horizontal. That's fine, so let's just pick either inside or outside. I'll pick outside. I've got a 20, and I've got a 160. In order to find the distance, you need to subtract those two. So 160 minus 20, that's going to be 140 right? Or if I did the 20 and 160 on the inside. So that's not big enough. So let's check this one. I've got a 10 and a 170. All right, 170 minus 10, whether you go on the inside or outside, that is your 160. So you have to subtract the difference. So our answer here is the first option and the fourth option.